There's a trail here, well worn. Laura, I found a radio on one of the invaders you killed. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. I can monitor the invaders' frequencies from here while I patch myself up. I'll let you know if I hear anything useful. What more can you tell me about the Wicked Vale, Nadia? My people stay far away from that place. They have for centuries. When the Soviets were here, they tried to build an outpost in the Vale. <clears throat> but they angered Baba Yaga, and she drove them all mad. Grandpa told me all about her. She lives in a magic house that can walk with the legs of a bird. Do you believe all that? The house with the bird legs? I trust Grandpa. He was in the gulag when the Soviets took my grandmother into the Vale to help them study the ruins. The witch killed her, and he's never forgotten that. But a witch straight out of a Russian folktale? Shit! Steady. Hang on, I'm picking up a transmission. 
You need to hear this. Overwatch! Come in! We need it! Immediate extraction! Shit! What the hell is that? It's... walking? How c What the f- Did you hear that? That was the witch. Something's definitely happening out there. Whatever it is, we'll get to the bottom of it. the old temple. Head down to the wooden walkway along the cliff. There should be a rope leading to it. That path will take you straight to the veil. this place, this divine sculpture of wind and rock, we would have been lost. The story of the scout who found this place is well known to us all, but most of you do not know how close we came to dying. We were lost in the mountains, no food, no hope. We had begun to doubt the prophet himself, but the scout heard the sound and took it to be a sign. He alone ascended these cliffs, drawn by the music, and from there, he saw our salvation. This is not just a shrine to him and his bravery, but to the strength of our faith. Hmm, this was some sort of a shrine. Pilgrims came here to show their respect. Countwit is stuck. I've got to get through that door. If I could lower the gate, I should be able to climb higher. <sighs> the counterweight. If I could get it free somehow. There. At least this counterweight still works. say you never forget the first time you hear the sound. My parents took me here to contemplate the mysteries from beyond the shrine. In time, I will bring my children here. They say that without the music of the mountains, our ancestors would have wandered the earth until they died. But instead, these mountains called them home, just as it calls to me. should be able to connect their counterweight to the winch. 
Maybe I could swing it. Somehow. Blade. <sighs> Got to time that a bit better. This one is a series of meditations on willpower. cloth worn by priests during mass.
Nadia, I think I found your wicked veil. I don't know if it's Baba Yaga, but there's something out here. Be careful. This is her land. Nadia, my granddaughter. By now you already know. I am going into the veil to kill the witch, Baba Yaga. I have gone to seek revenge for your grandmother. There are newcomers in our valley, armed men arriving in helicopters. I do not know what they want, but I know if I am to go, this is my last chance. You deserve to know the truth, to know why. Your grandpa is not a wise man. I have become, with hard work, a good man for your grandmother's sake. But it was not always so. I came from the west, where even a small village has thousands of inhabitants. I was a lazy young man, and I dreamed of an easy life when I joined the party. A comfortable desk in the big city. But they sent me here, to the ends of the earth, to watch men and women work and starve and die, to participate in their punishment. I knew it was evil, but I did not know how to fight until I met her. 